Lion's Sight, Services for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Graphic of a Lion's Head in Black and White on a Gray Background. Hey there, I'm Keenan Fry, and I'm going to talk to you today about artificial trash. Okay, so in this box I have some artificial trash, and it's a project that I came up with working with some of my students. Um, I have students who are visually impaired and are also simultaneously intellectually impaired. Um, these are students who have not graduated high school and are in post-secondary education known as PSE and post-secondary ed is generally speaking designed to be around functional based curriculum it's vocational a lot of it is built around making sure that students have the skills to enter the workforce and be able to sort of take care of themselves functional living skills um, so to begin with the artificial trash what we actually start off with are these color cups um, we get the students to participate in activities with these such as sorting and organizing these cups um, I got a stack of two of them I'm gonna take these and just set these aside real quick um, the important thing to note about those cups is that they're high contrast so then we get to the actual artificial trash so what I've got right here is an example of the artificial trash um, it's a bag of chips and it doesn't really matter what brand but it does matter that it is a bag of chips because a lot of students have incidentally experienced eating chips so the incidental value of that is very useful again we're talking about uh, intellectually impaired students as well as blind and or low vision students so um, there's some things though that are unique about this bag of chips than just you know the simple fact that it's a bag of chips uh, if I flip it over you can kind of see that this corner is folded over and what I've done is got some fishing weights from a local sporting goods store um, you can get these at big five sports basement uh, Bass Pro Shop. Um, there's many places you can get it. Um, it's basically lead shot, and there's two ways you can get lead shot. You can get um, buck shot, which is you know typical stuff you see for hunting, and you can get it in large bags, just lead shot in a bag, or you can get it as a fishing weight. I use fishing weights because they're weighed out and it's a little bit different than the bags of shot you buy. Um, this has various sizes and so forth. So I find that the fishing weights are a little bit more useful. Um, so what we do is we put the fishing weights inside the bag and then we glue the fishing weights together using some super glue and drop those in and then we fold the corner over and tape it shut. And the reason we do that is because it's lead weights. So obviously lead is dangerous to put in your mouth. Some of these students, because they're intellectually impaired, they do have issues with oral fixation. So you have to make sure that this is sealed so that they don't put it in their mouth. If they put the bag in their mouth, that's one thing because the bag is actually sealed. They can't actually put the lead shot in their mouth. Um, so what you do is you throw this about, you scatter it about, and you let the students practice picking it up. Um, there's different ways to do artificial trash. These are my examples of the plastic bags. But what we would also do is get tin cans. We'd rinse out the tin cans, make sure that they're um, cleaned out. And so I'd have a bag of tin cans that I had collected, that I had cleaned, that I know were safe for my students to participate with. Um, this is the case for students who might be medically fragile where you're introducing them to the task and you're teaching them good hygiene practices such as using a grabber stick to pick up the trash rather than using their hands. Trash collection is a great post-secondary education goal for students who are very much intellectually impaired um, regardless of whether they're visually impaired or not there's things they can do with it. Um, generally speaking park cleanup is what we call it and park cleanup is great because you're outside, you're in the public, so it's least restrictive environment. Um, you get to work on travel training skills, you get to work on social skills, you get to work on self-advocacy because the student can talk to people in the public and explain what it is they're doing. Um, and it's just generally a very positive outward sort of experience that's just very good for the student to be out in the community, um, the community where they live and so forth. Um, so what we do is we set up uh, where we are at there's a series of tennis courts and stuff where we can practice throwing the trash around and the students pick up the trash and clean up the tennis courts and we do that a couple of times uh, but then when we do the actual park cleanup we really go into the community we walk usually a mile out it's good exercise for the kids as well 
Um, when we go to the community, they got to use the grabber stick because that is real trash. They'll be picking up beer bottles sometimes, things, all kinds of things like that. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but it's, it's good to have them out there. So you practice your good hygiene skills in your local area near the school, and then in the real world, because those practices have been established, you know the student is going to be hygienic. Um, again, talking about grabber sticks, there's really like four kinds. Um, there's the typical uh, compression style, which you use your hand to squeeze. Now, I've had a lot of students who are orthopedically impaired, and they can't use their fingers. So with those students, we have to use an alternative method. Um, Sometimes they can't do their full palm squeeze to grab and pull down on a squeeze handle, but maybe they can use one or two of those fingers. So there's sort of like a palmer style, which is the typical one, the full handle squeeze. Then there's a trigger style, which you can use one or two of your fingers and it pulls a rope trigger. Um, those ones are still spring loaded though. And so there's an issue where there are some students who can't operate a spring triggered uh, grabber stick. So then we look for one of the other alternatives which is an accordion style or a bellows style where you squeeze your hands together. And by squeezing your hands together, the, the stick grabs something. That's really good for students who can't really do any kind of grasping techniques. There's a lot of students who are orthopedically impaired and what they can do is grab something by using their palm. So they use the heel of their palm and they put their two palms together to grab something. Those students can use an accordion style or a bellow style grabber stick. And then the other type of stick, which I personally like a lot, is the slider style. And the slider style is really good for visually impaired students. A lot of blind and visually impaired students have extensive experience with their cane. Right, so this is their mobility cane. This is what we talk about when we talk about orientation and mobility, um, white cane. So because they're familiar with their white cane, they're already used to these kinds of tools, having it in their hand, but now it's kind of like a two-handed version of a white cane. Um, so one hand holds the handle and then the other hand is on a forward grasping handle and you just slide the forward handle back and forth to open and close the stick. So it's an internal rope pulley that operates the grabber stick. So I really like those kinds of uh, grabber sticks uh, because it's really good for students who are orthopedically impaired, visually impaired, and intellectually impaired. So you've got, you know, a compendium of comorbidities and you have to address all of the needs. It, it's very complex, but generally speaking, that's like really a good option for them. Um, last thing I'll say is we don't recommend brands. We, rep we recommend using features. So what I've done is I've described different kinds of grabber sticks based off of their features and how they're functionally used. So I'm not gonna name a type of grabber stick, but I will describe it to you. And that's the kind of grabber stick you wanna write into an IEP because instead of saying, oh, we want this specific brand, we are instead looking for this specific function. And it makes it easier for you to justify it in your needs assessment if you're looking for a piece of AT. And technically, using a grabber stick is a piece of AT. It's low tech, but it's still tech. So that's part of your AT assessment. That's if you're a TVI like I am. Um, I think that's enough about the grabber sticks and all that. I'm going to briefly show you the buckshot and then we're going to call it. Okay, so this is the fishing weights. And again, I'm not necessarily recommending a brand, but I would say that fishing weights, um, you can get buckshot in large quantities. So if you're gonna make a lot of this artificial trash, it might be better to use that because you can just buy it in bulk. Fishing weights you can also get, you know, but basically it's these little weights right here and I'll zoom in or I'll focus it since we're zoomed in. Um, and I just drop these in the corner um, they're made out of lead, so again, you want to make sure your student doesn't put this in their mouth. And after you handle these, you should wash your hands. Um, but basically, it's just lead shot. The weight is useful for keeping the bags from blowing around. Um, I haven't tried putting these in tin cans, but what I would like to do is get some saran wrap. Wrap these up in the saran wrap and then drop the saran wrap into the tin can and try super gluing the saran wrap to the inside of the tin can and maybe that's a way to kind of weigh down the tin can so they don't roll around as much in the wind. Um, remember these are visually impaired students and they're going to get really frustrated if they can't pick up the trash because it's moving around on them. So um, that's it and I appreciate your time. Thanks for hearing me out on, on the artificial trash.
Lion's Sight. Regular updates on blind and visually impaired tutorials will be available for all kinds of topics. Thanks for watching.